Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to use a store procedure with input parameters in lookup transformation and how we can change the value of that parameter in the lookup SQL command. So now here is a scenario. We need to extract the records from a reference table or a for our lookup transformation and we are using a store procedure to extract those records as the reference table has records for multiple regions and we get source files for each region we don't want to put or get all those records from the uh, lookup table and put into memory we want to just get the records related to the source file now I will show you what exactly we are talking about here. The store procedure accept the region code as a parameter and get the related records. Now we will use this parameter to pass the values to the store procedure and we will get that value of that region from those file names. Here I have those uh, files so the files will be coming into uh, AS and Asia underscore sales uh, Europe underscore sales and uh, North America under, uh, under uh, score sales and date time to it what we want to do uh, depending upon the value the first two characters of this file uh, we want to extract the records from that lookup table so here is my lookup table let me drop this lookup table and I have a customer ID, customer name, street name, city and state and region. And if I will create this table and I will insert some records here. So I'm inserting some records. And then what we want to do, let me just run the query and show you the record set first, what we have in the table. Now in this table, this is our lookup table and we will be using in the lookup transformation this has records for different region right now we have five records and think about we have millions of record let's say 21 million and each region has 7 million records if we will use a select uh, everything from this table this will put everything so that means it will put 21 million records into the memory before it start processing or comparing the results uh, from the source uh, file now what we want to do we want to limit that if we are loading the file for Asia why we need to even extract all the records for Europe and North America and put into the memory of by using lookup transformation Th that's the same way we are extract running the file we are loading the file for Europe why we need to get Asia and North America records in the lookup transformation they will be no used we will ne never use them as we know that we are going to use the region code as one of the comparison or one of the mapping column so that's what we are doing here we are creating a store procedure create procedure procedure name accept the region code and then give me customer ID customer name and region code from the lookup table where region is equal to at the rate region by using the store procedure in the lookup transformation we will extract the record according to the uh, region code the file we will have in the input folder so if we will get a Asia file it will just extract uh, the Asia records uh, from the lookup table by using AS as a parameter if we will have EU file it will just uh, get the records in the lookup transformation by by just using the store procedure and use EU as a parameter so I will show you how we'll extract these first two characters in SSIS package and use them as a parameter now inside this uh, uh, file each one has customer name customer region and sale amount so we'll be using customer name and region to join on, on the, with the lookup data and get the customer ID and we will insert those records into the call, table called customer destination so I'm going to drop this table now and then recreate it so we'll just insert customer ID and sale amount so let's go to the SSDT SQL Server data tools and take a look now you can have maybe bids if you are using old versions or so it doesn't matter create a new SSIS package right click here on the SSIS packages tab new SSIS package and here we will call it 
use sp in lookup transformation first of all as we are reading the file from the or actually the files from the input folder so we have to use the for each loop and that's that's the way we can loop through those files and all of the files have the same metadata or same column information so we'll be using the for each loop container here and i would like to create a variable or a parameter where i can save the path of this folder local folder so if we have to use in a, a different environment such as SIT, UAT and uh, production, uh, we have to use this package, we can simply change the folder path from where we are extracting those files according to the environment. Next, uh, open the for each loop and here in the collections, uh, we are not using uh, this C colon folder, uh, we are using the folder that value is saved in the variable so we'll go to properties here and directory and use that folder here so we will use local folder variable that has folder path hit ok and now we will be extracting the file name and extension here we are not interested to get fully qualified and or file name only so we will be just getting file name and extension as I have the uh, folder path so I will make use of that and the file name and extension in the connection manager of a flat file. So let's go and map to the variable, create a variable, and we will call it file name. It is going to be string type, so hit OK, and index is zero this because this is the first uh, variable we have in this, this list, so hit OK. Now, if we run this one, this, this is going to loop through the files, and each time it is going to return us the, the file name. Now next uh, we need to load the data from the source file to the destination bring the data flow task inside the data flow task use uh, the flat file source and uh, make a connection you can browse and point to any file as of now because all files are having the same metadata or column structure so we are fine with that go to columns and then go to advance and change the data type of those uh, columns or length if you need to in our case the customer region is always going to be two characters asia as uh, north america na and uh, eu so i have changed the data length of uh, uh, this column if you want to change for sale amount is going to be integer change that one go to preview hit ok retain null values from the source and null values in the data flow that means if you are getting blank values in the source and you want to convert them to the null you will check this box so we check this hit ok next we want to use the lookup transformation and only load the matching records so here i'm using the lookup transformation open it and first of all we have to select the cache mode here we have full cache we have partial cache and no cache here uh, if uh, we are performing this demo we will be concerned uh, only about full cache because we want to extract all the records for that region into memory and then start processing in partial cache and no cache each uh, row we will get uh, it will go back uh, to the database and uh, get the record in partial cache it would first time it will get uh, and if you'll find it uh, it's not going to go back it will keep in memory but uh, right now uh, we are not concerned about full cache uh, sorry no cache or partial cache i will have another demo i will show you all details how it work but uh, we are talking about full cache full cache is when uh, you extract all the records uh, by by using the lookup transformation from the lookup table or reference uh, data and put into memory before even your records uh, start uh, coming from the source so that's how it works so you will put everything in memory then your uh, records will start flowing from the source uh, go to lookup find the matching records and go down uh, the output uh, no match or match output uh, or whatever you output you have defined here here we will have uh, instead of saying fail component if uh, no matching record will come I want to redirect rows to no match output 
if there would be all matching they will be going to matching if there would be some record they are not matching they will be going to do the no match output so that's what we are using in the go to connections create a connection we have already connection and if you want to create a new hit here and you provide the SQL server name and database name and it will create a connection for you here don't uh, use that table let's say in this this case uh, we are using lookup uh, customer and if you see here it is bringing all those column I don't need state city street and I'm only concerned with customer ID customer name and region so that's uh, a waste of uh, your resources you're putting a lot of records in the memory you will even never need them so I will recommend using your query here in our case uh, we have created a store procedure so we will be using a store procedure so now let's take the store procedure let's create the store procedure and we will say execute just run it here just one time and see if it is working so it is working fine if I will change it to NA it should return me one record as we have one so use any of that value here just for now and let's take your store procedure go to the SSI uh, SS DT SQL Server data tool or bids uh, and in the lookup paste it here now preview the data it is bringing two records this value we will override it so don't worry about that we are not going to use or hard code NA this uh, value or the parameter will change according to the file name now go to the columns and in the column name customer name customer name map region customer region to the region and we need to get this value for our destination table so hit ok we are all done we need to write uh, the final uh, records uh, to the table so we are going to go ahead and bring the OLEDB destination look up match output uh, map to the OLEDB destination and here will be making a connection so we have connection already because our destination table is in test database so just uh, select the table so it will call customer underscore DST this one map the columns now we have customer ID customer ID and sale amount should be to the sale amount it okay and we can use uh, uh, one transformation here uh, multicast just to see how many records are redirected on the lookup no match so you can leave this one as it is if you want to remove it you can remove it but here in the process of building this package it's a good idea to have it it's not going to do anything it will work as a dummy so we can just see how many records are going to output lookup no match let's run this package now and uh, we will see one thing right now we are not uh, uh, this uh, uh, package is running for the same file over and over so need, we need to do multiple things as we pointed uh, our package to the EU file so it ran three times uh, for that file if you see it here and also it get only the one record by using the lookup as we have uh, uh, the store procedure with the parameter NA so there are multiple things we need to do here first of all we want to make this package dynamic and read each file on each of the iteration so we need to go here or even doesn't matter go to the flat file connection manager go to properties and here we will change or make use of those variables what we have we have a local folder and then we have to add the file name so put uh, double quotes backslash backslash double quotes plus sign and then use the file name now by doing this one what is it going to happen it is on each of the loop uh, or, or iteration it is going to get a new file name and then uh, it will be using uh, in the data flow hit ok hit ok now if we are run this one uh, it is going to run each time it will bring uh, a new file uh, but still uh, there is some work need to be done so now let's go and take a look and you see that it re read the Asia file then it read the EU file and then it read the NA file so all three files is reading correctly but one thing if you notice here 
it is read in one record from uh, the uh, from the lookup table and putting in the in the memory every time so it is not dynamic for the lookup as of now now let's go back and make it dynamic first of all we need a region code that we need to extract so let's go to the variables create a new variable called region code I'm gonna make use of file name variable and then extract the first two characters from the file name variable because file name has that uh, full name that is here so it is extracting the full name with extension so I'm gonna make use of this one and extract only two characters so if I will I can provide any value here for now just for the test purpose test.txt just to see if my expression works fine or not this is going to be string hit F4 that will take you to the uh, properties go to the expressions and we are writing uh, the expressions for region code variable will make use of file name so I need the first two characters so I will use substring and here I will pass that file name one comma two so I'm reading from the first position and only two characters so it is giving me as as of now because I have the value as here now it is working fine one more thing we would like to do set this property evaluate as expression true because we want to change the value of region code on each of the iteration and we every time it get a new file name in the file name variable this should change automatically so that property is going to help next uh, the last thing is left right now if we go to lookup and in the lookup what we have we have this statement and this statement is hard coded with the na value so we are running a store procedure with the na and every time it is extracting only one record we need to make this a dynamic as we have region code available now that we can pass as a variable as a sorry as a parameter to the store procedure let's do that so we come to the uh, data flow task if you are in the let's say you are in the data flow and you are on the lookup and go to the properties you will not find any expressions here so you have to come to the control flow then come to the data flow go to the properties and here you will see expressions to so go to the expressions and then here in the properties you will look for the property called lookup sql command you're going to select that part and then hit expressions button here and the write your expressions here so we are executing a store procedure execute dbo get customer and we have to pass the input parameter that's a region and we can use the variable so i'm going to make use of that one so i put single quotes then i put double quotes plus sign and here i'm going to use that variable region code I have to use plus sign again I'm gonna use double quotes single quotes and double quotes one more time so this is how it is it will build right now it is getting the values from that uh, file name the for the the fake file name we have given in the file name and that's how it is building as but when it will run in real time it is going to get the uh, values from the region code and that is using expressions coming from the file name so in each of the iteration for each loop is going to read a new file and then we will be extracting the first two letters in the region code and we are using as a parameter to the store procedure so hit ok hit ok now let's run this one and you see fx uh, that's it means it has expressions written on the data flow you will not see this one in the old versions but this is in SSIS 2012 and 14 you will see these fx come in on the data flow or the transformation wherever you use those expressions next uh, if uh, you are uh, um, remember we if we were, would like to take a look right now we go to the output and uh, we will see every time it was extracting only one row and that was for North America and we had only one row in the table for North America if you remember but uh, now when we run it it is going to loop through each file and it will extract the related records from the lookup table and by using that store procedure 
and it will be the number will be different for North America we have one for Asia and Europe we have two records in that uh, table so let's go ahead and run it and take a look these videos are really long but each and every step you are learning a lot of good stuff let's take a look here so first of all it read the file Asia so and then it ran the store procedure and you see that two records are put in the memory so look up put two records why because it ran this store procedure with the parameter as and uh, when it ran it, it the store procedure returned uh, two records from the lookup table. So that was really good. Instead of uh, getting five records or millions of records, you are extracting only the related records uh, by using the store procedure. And you can uh, have done uh, this one by using SQL statement as well. You don't have to use a store procedure. But it's a good idea to use a store procedure if you need to make some changes in the code here you will be making changes still you will be returning the same columns but you can uh, um, put maybe a lot more filters here and uh, join with other tables and uh, you don't have to make changes in the SSIS uh, package so you, your changes will be only in store procedure so that's why store procedure are good in a way you don't have to make changes in the package you can go ahead and make a change in store procedure as long as it is returning the same uh, column names now and have the same uh, parameters here for the next uh, when it is processing uh, the file for uh, eu it is also caching two records so that's good and when it is coming uh, to the north america file it is only putting one record in the memory so that's really great what we learn here we can limit or filter the number of records we put in the memory for each of the region or depending on the some different values coming from the file name or maybe there are other parameters we are using and we can use that in the store procedure and limit the number of rows we need to extract and map them in lookup instead of bringing everything from that table into the memory so uh, that will save you a lot of resources your package will work much better uh, instead of you let's say you have 20 million records uh, and each time uh, you will uh, you load a file it will bring 20 million uh, records in memory process it and then um, uh, remove the from cache next uh, it will bring again 20 millions and all that so that will uh, put a lot of uh, pressure on the memory also on uh, your other resources it has to read uh, from the uh, C SQL table and all that there would be IO involved and uh, network as well so you are saving a lot of uh, resources when you are thinking smart and uh, making these uh, lookups uh, parameterized so thanks very much for watching this video the script is going to be available on the blog post and uh, the you can find the link in the description of this video and make use of that and learn uh, different techniques thanks very much and i will see you in next video